Well, listen to this, okay, because our next guest is proof that hard work pays off so much that his life story was just made into a movie. So meet Jose Hernandez, a father of five, engineer and former NASA astronaut, born in California to a Mexican farm family. He spent his childhood in the fields, harvesting crops, moving from one town to another. And he dreamed of going to space, studied engineering in school, and eventually became one of NASA's few Hispanic Amazing. astronauts. But it was no easy feat, as you might imagine. See, imagine the agency actually rejected him wow. 11 times. Could you imagine That's that? That's unbelievable. But he didn't give up. He finally yep. made it. Finally made it. This month, Prime Video released a biopic about Jose Hernandez starring Michael Peña. It's called A Million Miles Away. Wow. I'm a pilot now with over 800 hours under my belt. I have my scuba diving certificate. I just ran the San Francisco Marathon. Wow. And I speak Russian, sir. I, 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 in fact, I volunteered to travel to Siberia as part of the transparency program for the U.S. Department of Energy. I'm the father of five most perfect children and then the husband of a, the most incredible wife who threatened to leave me if I didn't come here today. Um, I've applied 12 times, and yes, sir, I've, I've been on the verge of giving up after each and every rejection, but you know what, sir? Here I am. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured, I'll be standing here again in a year. Right. I mean, if that doesn't yeah. give you chills, I don't know what will. Jose Hernandez joins us live this morning. Hello and welcome to New York Living, Jose. Wow. Good morning, Marisol and Dan. How are you guys doing? Good morning. Better for seeing that. Yeah. My goodness. It's so interesting. Oh, it's a, it was beautifully done, the movie. And, uh, you know, if you don't if you don't cry happy tears, I always tell people, you, you guys are aliens, you're not human. <laughs> mm. We'll get to aliens in just a second. But I do wanna, you know, it's 11 times, right? And it's so funny, because I'm wearing a bracelet that says, fall oh. seven times, stand up eight. And it's my reminder every day to stand back up when you face adversity or whatever it may be. 11 times! What made now, you 12 keep... 12 times was the charm, what 11 you... rejections. Yeah, what made you keep going back? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, my... Um... My plan B was built into my plan A. I always uh, told myself, you know, no one likes rejection, and I got rejected a lot. But I always propped myself back up because I said, what's the worst thing that could happen if you never get selected? It motivated you to, to, to get an engineering degree, graduate school. You, worked at, you work at a uh, premier national lab, and uh, you have a good paying job. It's not a bad consolation prize. Mm. No, not, no, <laughs> not right. a bad consolation <laughs> prize. I wonder, I always feel like, when I was a kid, I admired the students who studied science because mm -hmm. it was so challenging for me, or engineering. What inspired you? What happened in your life when you were younger that you thought, I want to become yeah. an astronaut? Because it's not for everybody. Right. Well, well, first of all, Marisol, so let me tell you that, um, you know, I, we moved from school to school, and so I struggled in learning English, so math was my refuge. Two oh, plus three is five in any language. That's right. And then when I was 10 years old, I saw that very last Apollo mission, Gene Cernan, uh, walking on the moon on TV. We had an old black and white console TV, vacuum tube technology with rabbit ear antennas. <laughs> yeah. Your grandmas, your abuelitas knitting on the bottom. <laughs> right. And, and if, you could, if you could picture a, a 10 year old kid being mesmerized and watching and listening to Gene Cernan, uh, and that's when I said, de aquí soy yo, this is where I'm from. I wanna be like him. And ever since, I never looked back. Wow. wow. It's unbelievable. So you get accepted that 12th time, right, into the program finally. And yes, what was sir. it like? I mean, walk us through a little bit of the yeah. journey once it finally happened. Well, be careful what you ask for because, <laughs> uh, because you know, once I got there, I, I figured the hard work was over and it was barely beginning then. Uh, you know, you have to learn how to pilot a, uh, a T-38 uh, the uh, space shuttle and then operate the International Space Station and you had written tests, you had oral tests, you had uh, simulation tests. Yeah. So it was like being in graduate school for two years in a row when you were an astronaut candidate. And it's on, not until you go through that program that you earn the right to be assigned to a mission and then you train for another 18 months. Wow. So it's a lot of training. Mm. That's a lot. Mm. That is a lot. And did all that training pay off when you're finally up yeah. there? Right? And all of a sudden oh, you're in zero wow. gravity? You know, you're, you're one of less than 600 people out of 7 billion. Wow. And you, you are able to see our planet from a perspective that, you know, very few of us see. And you're able to see our world in one window. 
and then on the opposite window, window to our universe. And let me tell you, you never get tired of floating. You feel like a superhero because you're defying the uh, the laws of physics as we know them here mm -hmm. on Earth because you're floating up there. And I mean, it's just so cool. It's it's. I mean, words can't do it justice. But words did do it justice because yeah. you turned your story into a memoir. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. And that became the basis for A Million Miles Away. At what point did you realize that you needed to write this book? And did oh. you always imagine that it would become a movie? Or were you just happy writing your story? Well, I, well, I never grew up saying, I hope they make a movie of me. That that was <laughs> in my mind. But, but Marisol, what happened was when I left NASA, I started giving motivational talks. And people would tell me, you should write a book. So I wrote a book. And then the mother's started telling me, you need to write a children's book. Oh so gosh. I wrote a bilingual illustrated children's book. And then the publisher tells me, you need to write a middle reader book. I said, <laughs> how many times can I tell my story? You know. And then after I had all those three books and kept uh, on the uh, motivational speaking circuit, uh, that's when the studios uh, started coming and said, hey, this is worthy of a movie. And I said, really? And, uh, mm -hmm. and they convinced me once we, uh, we started talking with uh, select films who had done uh, quite a bit of motivational films, and so they had the pedigree, and so I associated myself with them. And next thing we know, we're 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 uh, showing on my life story on Prime Video, oh and I understand it's doing very well, and uh, we're getting uh, uh, seem to be getting pretty good reviews. And and what did you think when you watched yeah. it? Right, you're watching your own life story, and what did what did you think watching it? It's very surreal. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll lie to you if I didn't get dirt in my eyes and they got water in yeah. Dirt, like uh -huh, dirt, uh -huh. dirt. It's always the dirt. Uh, there's a lot of emotion uh, that comes out because you lived it. Uh, but I think uh, everybody else I have spoken to said they also got dirt in their eyes. They all got dirt in their eyes. Did you, what was your relationship like with Michael Peña, who plays you? What were those conversations like? Oh, we, uh, very well. We have a great relationship. We still, you know, we text each other and everything. And uh, at first, I didn't get to meet him in person because uh, it was th uh, during the pandemic. Mm. But once the filming started, I, I, I was there several times. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, he would talk to me. And uh, But I'll tell you, the person that stole the show is Rosa Salazar. I mean, she she zoomed like Michael. The both great professionals zoomed my wife, and they cooked together. Wow. And when I saw uh, Rosa up there as my wife, from a personality perspective, I said, "That's my mi esposa." That's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> he got it down to Pat, but both of them are great yeah. actors. And uh, man, I hope they get considered and come award season because these guys deserve it. Okay. They can. I can't wait to check this out. They I, really do. While we have you, I know it's not related to exactly NASA, but I just have to ask you. Hmm. A lot of talk about aliens. Right? Oh, yeah. They got the congressional hearings. That's there right. are these things in, in Mexico, whether or not they were real. What do you think? When you were up there, did anybody say hello? Well, you know, like like the uh, the stuff in Mexico, yeah, I, I, I just don't believe it. I refuse to believe that because okay. I don't see the concrete evidence. But, oh, um, the, the, the fact that, you know, there's some unexplained phenomena, aerial phenomena that we can explain leads you to think that it's possible. Now, I'm a scientist. I need right. proof. Right. Yeah. And when I was up there, I tell you, any moment I had free, I looked out the window, I had the camera, I had the video camera all ready to point. I didn't see anything. But to think that we're the only ones right. in this universe, right. I, I think that's pretty selfish. I, I don't think the universe evolves around us. I think there's life in other places. It's just so far right now. And those people that could get to us, they're so advanced, they probably see us as very primitive and they mm -hmm. say, let's leave them alone. Let's leave them alone. <laughs> let's leave them to their own devices. Hey, listen, yeah. what's what's next? What, what are you gonna do next? You've climbed so many mountains. Come, You've looked I've at the horizon, from, what's next? But it's all I've come full circle. I, you know, I went back home to Northern California so my kids can grow up and uh, with their uh, abuelos. Mm. My oldest just graduated from Purdue in aerospace engineering. Guess what? He's on yeah. right. uh, my daughter uh, graduated from Loyola Marymount. She's a, uh, a an influencer. You know, at the Vanessa Hernandez, look her yeah. up and you're Instagram. a good dad. Uh, I make I make a fool of myself uh, in her uh, TikTok. As, so. oh, as yes, well as, you yeah, exactly. should, Jose. As well I should, right? Oh. Exactly. And and now I said I came full circle. Uh, you know, there's a saying you can take a kid out of the farm, but not the farm out of the kid. So now I have a vineyard, and you know, these past I'm seven right years, I've, I've I've been working with me, Papa. 
in the vineyard. I mean, this is the best seven months, seven okay, years I've been working. We're what up. time what, and where yeah, should we have our yeah, which but, but are we getting Here are Luna Sellers wine. I have I have it online to direct the consumers. We'll be there. We'll be there. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to kick us out. That's right. Jose right. Hernandez, thanks again so much Gracias, for joining us. Congratulations on all the things. Course, and you yeah. can stream a million miles away right now on Prime Video.